Now, arrest warrants have been issued against a prominent editor and nine other journalists of a leading daily in Bangladesh. Activists in the country say that this is actually an attack on the freedom of press. They've said that the editor is being targeted. He already has as many as about 55 defamation cases against his name. So is the Sheikh Hasina government muzzling the voices of dissent in her country? Take a look at this report. Ever tightening media laws, unwarranted arrests and self-censorship by journalists, Bangladesh's media is under siege. This is Matiur Rahman, the editor of the Bangladesh-based Pratham Alo Daily, a newspaper highly critical of the Sheikh Hasina government. On Thursday, Rahman and nine others were charged with causing death by negligence. The case is from last year. A 14-year-old boy was fatally electrocuted at an event organized by the newspaper. Today, 76-year-old Rahman has an arrest warrant in his name. And he already faces 55 cases of defamation for hurting religious sentiments. Authorities say they are just following the law. But rights group disagree. They call it vendetta. In 2016, when some of these cases were first filed, a New York-based Human Rights Watch had observed that this could be part of an organized assault on independent media in Bangladesh. And here's why. Since 2016, major advertisers have stopped placing ads in this newspaper. Reports say this is on the orders of Bangladesh's security agencies. It has resulted in the loss of revenue that goes up to millions of dollars. And now the top editors of this newspaper face imminent arrest. Rights groups are accusing the Sheikh Hasina government of cracking down on dissent. They say the country's new internet laws are gagging the press. These laws are part of the 2018 Digital Security Act, which has an extraordinary scope. It allows Bangladeshi authorities to search and detain any journalist, seize computers and also handheld devices. All of this on mere suspicion and without any court-issued warrants. The charges could land you in jail for 14 years just for expressing your views. In 2018 alone, 71 cases of defamation were filed under this act. 20 journalists were arbitrarily arrested. Two years down the line, democratic thinkers and social media activists in Bangladesh are following an unspoken code of conduct. There's intensive surveillance and intrusive monitoring. The country has slid four notches on the World Press Freedom Index and is now 150th. This is out of 180 countries. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Meanwhile, Greta Thunberg has warned world leaders that they haven't seen anything yet as thousands march with the climate activists in the Swiss city of Lausanne. The Greta Thunberg's warning came as massive bushfires continue to ravage Australia. The 17-year-old activist who launched the Fridays for Future movement denounced the lack of government action in tackling climate change. Now, the Swedish teen activist has renewed her campaign against climate change ahead of the World Economic Forum in Davos next week. She also said that she'll be urging the world and business leaders in Davos to enact stronger policies with regards to climate change. We are now in a new year and we have entered a new decade. And so far, during this decade, we have seen no signs whatsoever that real climate action is coming. And that has to change. To, to the world leaders and those in power, I would like to say that you haven't seen anything yet. You have not seen the last of us. We can assure you that. And that is the message that we will bring to the World Economic Forum in Davos next week. And thousands of youngsters have rallied with Greta called for companies to stop fossil fuel investment.